Hello everyone and thank you for coming to Deb Chanel's 40s World and I am Deb Chanel. Child, I did a video on Brielle Berman and her lips being dissolved, her fillers. I thought I was doing something y'all. Getting my good points in, high five myself. And Lord, the microphone wasn't even on. <laughs> So y'all may get that story, or y'all may not, because I don't like retaping stuff over, because I ad lib a lot. My stuff is not written down, it's just coming straight from my dome, and it just is what it is. So I was totally against her doing anything else with herself, because she's a beautiful young lady. If she wanted to take the fillers out, to me, the pictures were pretty much like... You didn't do anything. I don't know if her lips was just still swollen and whatnot, but it seems like she still had the fillers in. Okay, but I, like I said, I might do the story again. Then again, I might not, but it is, it is what it is. Um, I just think, think she need to leave herself alone and let the beauty be in the eye of the beholder instead of her just continually getting cut on, getting Botoxed up and all this kind of stuff. But moving on from that, we're going to be talking about uh, Dennis claiming to fame. He was just having dinner. He was just having a late night dinner that came in the wee hours of the morning. I don't know who eats at four in the morning unless people are traveling or they just got off work. Uh, something to that nature. What Dennis was doing with these women at 4 a.m. in the morning. A Saturday in the wee hours, like them club scenes, like you don't shut the club down, so you got to go get you something to eat. Why he wasn't laying beside his wife, future wife, girlfriend, baby mama, however you want to see Portia these days, because it's not even about Portia anymore. It's how Dennis is making Portia look in these streets. Because I don't gave up. You, everybody knows she's pretty much either married to the man right about now, or she's pretty much. Uh, going to be with this man for the rest of her life if I say if he has her because she don't have no self esteem about herself about you know uplifting herself letting her partner know this type of behavior of you embarrassing me and embarrassing yourself is not going to be tolerated from this point going forward she really haven't set those parameters for him so he's going to continue to do what he do but we're giving him the show uh, we letting him speak his mind over here, Deb Snails. Four days were a VI uh, social media trending topic way of uh, getting to you all about how he felt about his situation. Of course, he put out on his Instagram account, can't, can't I eat? No, you can't eat. If it's going to cause you to sin in any way against Portia Williams, your dedicated fiance, as you said, or wife at this time, I don't know. From the Mexico trip that y'all took. It just is what it is. Okay now. If it's going to cause you to make it look like you're in a scandal again. And it's going to uh, blow up in Portia face. Because she's going to have to have these repercussions. Because you may have been out there in the business world. In the hot dog king world. And people know who you are. But Dennis I didn't know who you were. <laughs> I did not know until you came in contact with Portia Williams. And she put you on the real social media trending streets okay she's letting you float real hard on tv with her and you being noticed because I, like i said if we were just looking at fours 500 i didn't ever see you out there doing the business thing moving and shaking uh being branded with forbes magazine as one of the top elites 500 uh million dollar uh owner of any establishment or so entrepreneur you know what i'm saying but it just is what it is but uh dennis claimed the fame is i didn't do it i didn't do it i didn't do it y'all i was just having a late dinner with some um beautiful women and that's pretty much it okay let's go on and get into this story madame nor nor war or madame nori put out for us and the Columnists, columnists are um, commentary person or uh, what do you call them correspondent over at Madame Marunur, uh website. Her name is Victoria. Can't pronounce her uh, last name. We just gonna call her Victoria U. Okay. Whew. 
Excuse me, I'm taping in the wee hours of Saturday morning at 1.01 a.m. So that's why I'm kind of like yawning here and there. Plus I took some um, headache medicine that has a, a night uh, sleep, a sleep aid in it. So this is what it is. So if y'all see me yawning, bear with me, okay? It's a family affair over here. We get down, we talk, we may do normal stuff like we normally would do if we're sitting having a conversation in real life time you know and I can get your response back immediately after I've given you my response but since we know all this is pre-recorded y'all bear with me okay but anyway going on into the article it said could Dennis McKinley be stepping out again yeah that's what I'm asking all right that was the question some had after the original hot dog factory CEO was spotted eating out. Not at his restaurant, but a diner with a group of women that didn't include his fiancée, Portia Williams. That's right. Portia was asleep with the baby at 4 a.m. when Dennis should have been on her other side or on the other side of the baby, sleeping in their bed together. Okay, like a family. But this joke out here, uh, eating and dining with four beautiful women at some restaurant, okay? And it's total platonic. It's nothing to say other than he was just having dinner with four beautiful young ladies. And one even put their head on his shoulder like she wanted to be consoled by him in some way. You know, I don't know. It's just you what it is. Not in this article, just my play by play. My thoughts. See, that's the one thing he put. Can he eat? All right. Well, we're trying to figure out what are you wanting to eat? Are you wanting to eat food or are you wanting to eat them? I don't know. And I'm talking about in a sexual manner. Okay. You do let me know, Dennis, because right now you're still not looking good, even though you're putting out on your platform stuff like that okay so i don't know what you want to eat do you want to eat food you want to crunch on somebody's uh box i mean what what is it i don't know okay break it down don't be sending subliminals okay with the word i can't eat no nah, you can't eat no nah, you sure can't star some you you could miss a meal or two all right but anyway um it goes on to say, in the footage, which was sent to Radar Online, Dennis sits in between the women, eating and chatting before catching the individual taping him. Okay, so see, he knew he was being taped, but yet he continued to be flirtatious, allegedly, and let the women be flirtatious with him as well. Okay, causing up chaos, causing up dissension. To paint a picture in social media that, in fact, Dennis is at his old philandering ways and he is definitely cheating on Miss Portia Williams. Okay, that's what it's alluding to. Because, like I said, pictures is a pictures are a thousand words. A picture is worth a thousand words, depending on how you want to read into it. Okay, but anyway, going back to the article, that was my sidebar. Um, it says, as for what he was alleged. Lee allegedly seen doing off camera the source present at the majestic diner okay so they're giving us a title name of the diner he was partaking in majestic diner in atlanta on saturday when dennis came in around 4 a.m claimed the women were flirtatious with him they said one claim she met dennis after he slid into her dms via instagram okay via instagram portia Mm-hmm. You got a little thought hole over there searching and surfing on the web. Meeting women. Allegedly now I'm just reading what I'm um uh, trying to ascertain in my head what possibly could be going down behind the scenes. Can you get women portion? This man right here. He don't uh, show his behind. Y'all remember that scandal he was in when he uh, allegedly, the cops had detained him because he called his cell. Well, this is Cecilia Ward. She was the one he's supposed to have been cheating with initially. But we still haven't found out what woman Portia caught him cheating with on her. You know what I'm saying? She didn't leak that out. So that just be different. It could have been Cecilia Ward. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not really true letting her go off the hook. I just think it's something there. Everybody know it. They just ain't saying nothing, okay? But Portia did say she was privy to information to let her believe that her ex, well, he ain't ex no more, but her current fiancé maybe be 
uh, married to the man, Dennis McKinley. Okay, so she didn't give us the tea on who it was, but it just is what it is. I guess she didn't want to give the mistress no shine. But I'm like, honey, people like Tasha K and, and other vlogging sites that pay to get the tea on you, it's best you clock your own tea, write your own narrative in your book of living life as Portia Williams before somebody else do it. I'm just saying, Portia, I'm just saying, clock your own tea, baby. You can only do it better because it's you and it's your story to write than anybody else coming up on the sidelines trying to tell you what's in your life. All right, I'm just saying, hell no, clock your own tea. All right, but anyway, going back to the um, article, it says the girl in black had her head on his shoulder. Put your head on my shoulder. Yes, and just relax, relax, relax. Put your head on my shoulders, and maybe we can get to the pillow. Put your head on my pillow. Yes, and just relax, relax, and relax. That's what he told to that woman, one girl. That's what it's saying in this article, girl. I don't know how true it is. All of it is allegedly here on the fam show. Okay? When you're over here at the family, a fair show with Dave Chanel's Four Days World. That's what we do. We speculate all day. We don't know if it's true. We can be drinking and getting high or whatever on whatever we kind of get high euphoric on. But it's just our opinions, our speculations, our um, viewpoint. On the subject matter, okay? Because we don't care. It's just good uh, dialogue to be talking about something, all right? But anyway, going back to the article, it said, further giving the impression, the source claimed that Dennis paid the bill for the table. That's right. Paid the bill for the table. Since the video came out, Dennis has responded in an already expired or perhaps deleted Insta story that was obtained by Neighborhood Talk. He posted a message that said, I can't eat? Hell no. Nah. No, you can't starve, okay? Me and you both can miss a, uh, several meals, all right? And you got it all in your stomach. So, yeah, you can miss a meal. You need to be in half eating a... No, you should have been taking your behind home, okay? You shouldn't have been out that late anyway. I know you're a man or whatever, but guess what? You are a married man, soon to be, if not already, and you're a dad, okay? You need to be up wondering... Well, you need to be at home watching over your two women. That's where you should have been, okay? That's where you sh Love should have bought you home last night. You should have been with me. Well, with Portia. You should have been right by my side, baby. If you care anything for me, love would have bought you to me last night. Yes, yeah, that's what you should have been singing. And Portia should have been blowing up your phone too. Singing that song. That little diddly I just broke out to you. That's what she should have been doing. But she didn't do it, y'all. She didn't do it. Or she probably did. But did this didn't give us a clue on he should have been hurrying home. Okay? Hurrying home that night. All right? But anyway, going back to the article, it said... Um, as for Portia, she posted a picture of herself in a wicker chair on Thursday from her trip to Jamaica with caption, Nothing Will Stop My Happy 2020. The photo was posted with comments not allowed, okay? Which was likely to avoid any questions or comments about what Dennis is or isn't doing. I'm like, see, that what I'm saying, Portia. Don't disable your comments, baby. Don't disable them because he's going to be doing shit like this forever and a day. And are you going to be cleaning up his mess ever and a day, Portia? I just want to know, girl. I just want to know. Just going to be a statistic. Well, you ain't really a statistic because you may be allegedly not married to the man but if you want to go on and get married and i'm not speaking ill will on anything he's just giving so much traction to just say he can't be faithful it, it may not even be a situation of him wanting to be faithful okay then it could have been a situation he want to but he's just addicted to women okay he's just addicted to putting his um penis in anything and everything that has a hole okay i'm like just build him a little hole in the wall and just tell him 
you know, stick it in there when you feel like you want to stick it in something. You want to get a thrill, just put it through the dough. Just drill a little hole in the wall, let them stick it, stick it, stick it, and that'll be another pleasure he'll get to experience, okay? Because I don't understand this man. I don't. I don't understand him, Portia, and I don't understand why you're with him. But then again, it may not be for me to understand. It may be just for entertainment purposes, just to keep your name out in them streets. I don't know. To garner more support for you when you need another storyline to be held up on Real Housewives of Atlanta. If that's the case, I'm like, money ain't everything. Whatever glitter ain't always gold. So, I'm just saying that to you, Portia. Okay? And I'm not winking on it. I'm very serious. All money ain't good money, okay? And you don't always have to have a storyline where it's creating negativity for yourself just to keep getting that check. I mean, come on. Do you have no self-respect for yourself? Do you even care how people even look at you on these streets? Okay, I'm just saying, girl. I'm just saying. If I was a part of your family, I'd be giving you the same speech. Girl, please. You got this nation. You got the Real Housewives of Atlanta, even though they want you to bring drama. But you could show drama by beating him up. You know. Well, let me go back now. Let me not, not beat him up. But you should be saying some words verbally that will mess with his conscience, his psyche. Okay? That's what you should be doing because we'll be rooting you on. Like, that's right. Get that joker together. What's wrong with that Negro? What's wrong with him? Okay? What's wrong with that Negro? That black African American, that black man. What's wrong with him? He's sex crazed or something. Child, please put him in his place, Portia. Let him know you will not be disrespected, okay? But this is it, what it is. That's my sidebar. Going back to the article. It says, um, while the video isn't necessarily super incriminating, as his hands only seem to be on his plate of food, it's not the best look that Dennis was out here with a bevy of women late at night. Even if it's innocent and they are all just friends, it brings unnecessary negative attention to Portia. Here's to hoping it was harmless, though for the sake of Portia and baby PJ. Still, if it is Dennis is going to have to clean it up based on his past. Okay. Then it goes on to say Dennis and Portia split last year for a period after he cheated on her while she was pregnant. We had a rough pregnancy all the way from start to finish. He said on Real Housewives of Atlanta, sex during the pregnancy is nothing that a man wants to do. And after PJ got here, postpartum was very real. We cried together. We cried together. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Y'all remember that? The Eyes of Brothers, I think it was. We cried. She cried. I cried. We cried together. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. When we made love. We made love. Yeah, that's what they were saying, honey. I'm just giving you uh, entertainment or trying to entertain you because ain't nobody listening to Dennis live. He got the goodies while she was pregnant, during the whole pregnancy, and then after the pregnancy. And he going to say, uh, no, you should have just blamed it on the alcohol. In my Jamie Foxx voice, alcohol. That's what you should have blamed it on, not the postpartum, okay? Not the postpartum, honey. But anyway... The article goes on to say, despite his indiscretions, the pair were able to reunite and get engaged again. Will this video impact the engagement in any way? We will have to see. Yes, we will have to see. Call, sing a happy song. Sing a happy song. Come on, on the world. Sing a happy song. Woo-hoo. Woo-hoo. Everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. So, Portia, I'm girl. Woo! If I was your woman and you were my man, yes, there'll be no other woman. You will be weak as a lamb. That's uh, if you had the strength to walk out that door, my love will overrule your senses and I call you back for more. If I was your woman. And you were my man. Yeah, that's Gladys Knight, honey. That's Gladys Knight. Baby, baby, baby. Yeah, honey. Yes, yes, yes. So I don't know what Dennis is trying to tell the people. The people meaning us. The people meaning the family over here. I don't know what Dennis is trying to say. Right now, a cheetah. 
It's always a cheater, unless a cheater want to change, okay? And they would need to change. It wouldn't even be nobody else telling you you need to change. They would see their errors or their ways, and they would be like, okay, I need help. I need help. I need help, 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 help. Yeah, that's what it would be. But this ain't doing none of that. He's living his best life. He loving in and everybody that would let him get it in. You see what I'm saying? Get it in, get it in, get it in. But um, y'all know how I feel about this situation. Y'all tell me what y'all think about it. We're a family affair over here. We want to know these things, okay? We want to check each other. We want to make sure everybody is on the same wavelength, the same book. We're reading the same cover, all of that. We want to be, you see, he even acting up. Where's uh, June Lawler? Where is she? See how he acted, honey? You see how he acted? Hollering at 1.16 a.m. in the morning. Ooh-wee. Okay, but anyway, that's my channel. Yes, I'm talking about you. Come on back in here. Um, get on in them comments. Like and share my videos. If you had not subscribed to my video channel at this time, please do so. Come on over. Let's make it a family affair. It's a family affair. Yes, it's a family affair. It's a family affair. All right, guys. Y'all be beautiful as always. And I will see you next video. Bye-bye.